Welcome back to another mailbag on Vintage Diecast Restoration. Up this week, I've got uh, three packages. I'll start out with this one. This is from Rebecca Dean in Jeanette, Pennsylvania. Um, this was an eBay purchase. And I've had this package for a while. I, honestly, I don't remember what it was exactly. But usually, flat package means a box. There we go. I do remember this now. So this was a, this was an auction I watched for a couple weeks, and it didn't sell. And it didn't sell, and uh, finally they put the make an offer uh, available on it. And so I made an offer that was, I think I paid $4 for this box. Um, and as you can see, it's not in great shape. It's got some staining. Um, it's got, I think it's a piece of tape running right across the, the artwork on the front here. It's kind of shiny. Um, and of course you can see it's missing both end flaps. Uh, they did have one of the end flaps and I should be able to figure out which side that goes on and I should be able to use it to make a copy for the other side so hopefully this is something that I can restore I've got a few of these cranes um, one one's I wouldn't call it mint but it's I'd say near mint and so this I got as a future restoration opportunity so excited to pick that one up up next, uh, I've got a package from Jeff. Uh, those of you that don't know Jeff, he's one of the sellers on the uh, Vintage Matchbox Live group. And this was a nice little auction that he had a couple couple weeks past. I didn't buy as many as I usually do. Um, I actually had him hold these because uh, he had a, another auction that was coming up that I thought looked really exciting and I couldn't uh, couldn't go to the next auction, so I, I kind of ended up just delaying the shipment on these. But uh, get all the peanuts out here. Let's see what else we got. I know you guys have heard me talk about the live auctions on previous mailbags, but um, if you're new to the channel or you haven't watched all the older videos, uh, there's a Facebook page or Facebook group called Vintage Matchbox Live, and it's a bunch of uh, consigners. Um, guys that get these uh, collections, uh, whole collections, and uh, they resell them. And they usually end up with some really good stuff. And this is uh, very nice. Um, this is, I think it's a Lotus. Let me look. Yeah, it's a Lotus. Um, little race car. I'm really a sucker for these little race cars. They're just so nice. And I've got a couple of these, but I don't have one as beautiful as this model. Um, all the original decals, a little edge loss on that decal there, but really nothing too terrible. And uh, it's got the original driver in there and shiny, shiny paint. Um, just a beautiful little model. So good buy on that piece. The other thing I like about the live auctions is, you know, there might be 20, 30 people in the auction um, that you're bidding against, but everybody who's in there is a collector. They know what fair prices are for stuff. Nothing goes crazy, and uh, you know you're not bidding against idiots on eBay. Uh, we were watching one of the auctions earlier this week for uh, one of the 1992 reproduction models that had just crossed over forty dollars. It's a two dollar car all day long, and apparently the people bidding on it did not know what they were actually bidding on but this is another little race car model um, BRM number 52 I've got I don't know probably six or eight of these now again though this one is really nice all the original paint original decals really the only thing taken away from it is it's missing the driver and uh, you can get those reproduction pretty easily so I'll probably for this one I'll compare it to some of the other ones I got, but I think this is going to be one of the nicer ones that I have. Um, so a little bit of loss on the decals there, 
but again, for an all original car, all the original wheels, tires, and that nice shiny glossy paint, um, I can go ahead and spend two, three bucks and put a driver in it. So, nice little pair of race cars there. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, there we go. Well, pipe truck. Um, so this model, it's not in the best shape. It's got some kind of little goober back here behind the cab. Um, and this was this was one of those models that the first time it came up in the auction, nobody bid on it, um, just because it, it is in bad shape. It's got some, I don't know if it's melted plastic on the front or if that's like nail polish or paint or something that's on there. Um, but it's got more of that kind of residue on the back. So this model itself is not in great shape. I've got quite a few in my collection that are much better than that, but this came with all the original plastic girders um, for this truck. And I don't, this seems like a lot. It seems like this might even be maybe plastic girders for a couple of trucks because it seems, I don't know, maybe help me out if you know how many uh, girders were in the original truck. You can tell me how many they're supposed to be. Um, because when I look at these, I mean, this, this fills this all the way up to the top of where those little stakes are on the side. And uh, I think I gave a couple bucks, maybe $2, maybe $3 for this little truck um, for that whole mess of girders. So let me know if you know how many came with the original one because um, I might have enough in here that I can outfit a couple of trucks at this point. But that's why I went ahead and got this one was so I could get these original. They make reproductions and I've got some of the reproductions, but um, you know, it's always nice to have original. So that was a good buy on that. So thank you, Jeff. Uh, thanks for running the, the auctions and working hard to find good stuff. Um, last but not least, I got a package from Vincent Versace in Los Angeles. And this is something that I've been waiting on for a very long time. I'm, I'm actually surprised that it made it here intact because this is not very good shipping at all. Um, this is a model that I do not have in my collection. Uh, I've looked for a long time and for those of you that collect, you know what these little cement mixers typically go for. Um, I've not seen one on Flea Bay or anywhere else lately for under, I'm gonna say 60 bucks for some of the later models. Um, if you are if you have one of the, the early series ones, uh, type A, type B, um, they tend to go over into the, the hundreds. Um, and if you got an original box with it, definitely into the hundreds, well into the hundreds. Um, this is one that I watched the auction for quite a while on and uh, just didn't seem to be going anywhere. And so I shot an offer of $20 for this model um, and the seller accepted it. So um, finally got a, got a steal uh, on this because this model is easily worth, I would say at least double that um, in the condition that it's in. Paint looks pretty good. A couple little chips on the wheels there. Um, the inside of the mixer looks like it's got a little crud in it. Probably needs to be washed out, cleaned out. Paint overall is not too bad. Um, it is original. It's got a little edge wear on this side. This side actually looks pretty good. I think if I was going to display it, I'd probably put this side out. The, uh, the little ring here on the end, it's bent. Um, and again, I've kind of learned that with these real delicate little die cast pieces, that's something you just leave alone because if I were to try to bend it back in place, I'm just going to crack it and break it. Um, and I know they make reproductions of all this stuff, but you only have original once. And this is the first one of these that I've been able to find at a reasonable price and been able to add to the collection. So um, I'm pretty excited because this is the last model in my first five series, the, the first five um, castings that were made by Lesney. Um, and I know this is a later one, this isn't the, the series A, but um, that 
completes my first five. So super excited to get this little piece and to get it for the price I did. So that's going to do it for us for this week. Thanks so much for joining me. And uh, as always, if you enjoyed it, give me a like down below. Join me next week for another Vintage Diecast Restoration.